Yo, what's good, Montana fam? What it do, baby? We out here, bro. Uh, we got a jam-packed day today. Stick with me. Actually, follow me this way. Um, here's the plans for. <laughs> here's the plans for today, and I say plans very loosely because y'all know what me plans can change at the drop of a dime. All right, look. Um, we got these NBA 2K copies, right? Uh, we going to New York City. We're gonna be handing out some NBA 2K copies in front of the Garden, the mecca of basketball. We might change locations depending on what's going on, but um, right now the plan is to be in front of um, the Garden. We're probably gonna be out there for maybe an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, somewhere between that time. Um, actually doing trivia though. We not just sh 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 trivia, baby. You get it right, you get the code. You feel me? Let's see how big of NBA 2K fans y'all actually are. Um, and then after that, we're probably going to chill in the city just a little bit. I'm supposed to be meeting my homie, Tony, over there as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I, um, I, I saw on TikTok, it was a Museum of Illusions. And I'm like, yo, I really want to go check that out. So that's in NYC. We're probably going to go check that out as well. We're going to be hopping on the train soon. Um, I just got dressed. Jen, listen, y'all know how she be. Uh, but... Yeah, so we got the copies here. We're actually not going to be giving away the physical copies. Nobody does physical copies anymore, if I'm being real. We're not going to be giving away the physical copies, but I got a list of codes that we're just going to be handing out to winners and maybe some other people as well. We don't know. I'll see. You know, I am a generous man. You feel me? So, you know, maybe I'll still slide a code or two to somebody, even if they get the trivia uh, questions wrong. But that's what the plans are today. Listen, that's what I plan to do. Don't know if that will actually get done, but y'all know me, man. I try to make things happen. Um, our train should be at the station because we're just going to catch a train to New York. If you live in New Jersey, you already know the best way to get to New York is via train. I mean, look, bro, driving to New York is a different type of... You got to be, like, really prepared for, for that. So our train is supposed to be arriving at 1247, I think it says, something like that. It's 12 o'clock right now. Jen is in the bathroom taking photos. I'm, I might need to go grab her. Actually, come, come with me, y'all. Oh, wait, wait. Follow me to the bathroom. Come on. <laughs> uh, Jenny, Hello. what are you doing? Taking selfies. Are you ready to go? Oh, you're recording? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Like, I'm ready. Got Let me see. The, let me see. Hold up. You wear no slippers, too? Nah, not the slippers. Nah, well, you should wear the slippers. Nah, these are for in-house. Nah, the slippers really set that off. I ain't going to hold you. Nah. You know, I can pull off anything. Yeah, yeah, you can. But, uh, yeah, so we about to get ready to leave soon, hopefully. I told him what the plans was, but I said I'm using plans very loosely because things can change. Absolutely. Hopefully they don't, but things can change. Hopefully this is a pretty good shoot. We don't have to do too much. We could be in and out, do what we got to do, make it happen, no problems, no issues. Yeah, I need to carry my but we can never be too sure. And of course, I've just been employed to carry Jen's heavy bag, so yeah. let me grab that. My whole life and um, <laughs> your whole life. So I'm not in there. You about to be? Oh, all right. <laughs> but yeah, so let me grab this bag, and uh, I will holler at y'all once I get to the, tr bro. Once I get to the train station, made it onto the train, on our way to the city. Um, we have the microphone. So we out there official. Uh, let's start out. Let's start out with a quick question here. A little practice. Jen, um, what was the first 2K that introduced my player mode? Uh, was it like 2K11? You are incorrect. It's NBA 2K10. Sorry, you were off by one year. Um, but we'll give you another chance to earn a code. Don't worry. We, we'll give you another question. Maybe this one will be a little bit easier. Who was on the cover of NBA 2K18? NBA 2K18. Damn, I hated that one. You can't ask me another year. Why would you say that? <laughs> I'm sorry. We love NBA 2K18. All right. Who was on the cover of NBA 2K17? NBA 2K17. Um, is it Durant? You are incorrect. It was Paul George. Oh. I'm thinking 16, right? No, I don't even remember. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to give you one more question. Um, who was <laughs> who was on the first 2K cover? This should be easy. Iverson? You are correct. Finally. <laughs> you finally get a code of NBA 2K. Good job. <laughs> you know what? Jen actually gave me an idea. 
we'll give them three questions, right? And the more they get wrong, the the lower edition of, of the game they get. If they get all three right, they get Hall of Fame edition. If they only get two right, they get All-Star edition. If they only get one right, then they get um the standard edition. And they get none right, then you get nothing. You're tough. Well, I, but I'm going to make one a super easy question for like the last one to just make sure they secure their copy. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's I think that's a good idea. Or I have to make the first one super easy. I'm going to ask you three questions, and they're going to get more difficult as we go. If you get all three right, you get the Hall of Fame edition of the game. If you get two right, you get All-Star edition. And if you get one right, then you get the standard edition. If you get none, you can keep it walking. You keep on walking. You understand me? Out of that. Yeah, that sounds good. So, yeah, we're on the way to New York City. Like I said, we got other plans after this as well. So, hopefully, this goes by really smoothly. Um, remember how I said we plan to be somewhere at a certain time? Yeah, those plans already changed. We're actually going to be there an hour later than we expected, but you know, we'll be there. We shall be there nonetheless. Jenny looking like a superstar babe. You know what I'm saying? The best camera woman in the business. And, uh, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I think it'll be fun. Hopefully, I see some of y'all out there. I'm about to send out a tweet, let people know I'm on the way there. Hopefully, I see some of y'all out there. I'm going to give you an opportunity to win a free copy of NBA 2K25. He said he's been playing 2K since... 2K16, about. Since 2K16. So, I'm going to ask you a question. It's going to be inside that range, all right? Uh, what was the first 2K that implemented the neighborhood? 2K18? You correct. 2K18. Hey, that was off the top, too. You knew that already. He said he's been playing 2K since the original one. Absolutely. So yeah. we're going to ask you a little throwback question. Who was on the original cover of NBA 2K? The original cover? He was like on a bunch of them in a row. He got some crazy handles, some of the best handles you've ever I seen. I want to say AI. You got it right. It's my guy, Alan oh, Iverson. Let's go. Right, let's go. Right. What are the three original park affiliations? Uh... Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, okay. We just brought him back this year. I know, uh... Uh-oh, he's choking. No, we got like the, the... Bro, I know, it's like it's like a Venice Beach type thing. Since he's more of a my team player, we're gonna switch the question up for him. What is the top three gym tiers in my team? Pink, Diamond, uh, Galaxy Opal, Dark Matter. We got one. We're gonna hook him up with a free copy of NBA 2K25. An uh, easy copy. I'm gonna give you an easy question, all right? Okay. Who is one of the three cover athletes for NBA 2K25 this year? So are they old athletes or are they athletes now? Uh, one of them is a former player. The other two are co uh, current players. Is it Duncan? Uh, no. Uh, Our main cover star for NBA 2K25 this year just won an NBA championship. Steph Curry. Bruh. No, no, unfortunately you got it wrong. Shout out to my guy, Jason, Jason Tatum. I have no idea. Jason I don't watch Tatum. basketball. All right, Sorry. thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Yo, coming live from the Biddy, baby. We out here, man. Look at New York City, man. We out here, man. We just got finished filming for uh, NBA 2K. You know, shout out to everybody that came up. Uh, we had some some uh, content creators pull up. Uh, we had some person that worked on like the movie Air. You know, the, the movie about that? Yeah, they pulled up on us, bro. It was pretty cool, bro. It was a nice little scene. Uh, but Jen was the only camera person we had, so she couldn't film for the vlog and film what I needed her to film at the same time. I wish I would have had a little bit bigger of a crew, but you know, Jen, the number one player on my team, like she always says, so shout out to Jen for holding it down for me. Uh, we actually about to go get some food in a second, relax a little bit, you know, say explore the city a little bit, and then, like I said, we want to head over to that museum as well. So that's what, that's what the vibes is looking like right now. Again, y'all know how I am. And now it literally just started to rain. I saw that black so black now black. I'm sick, bro. And Jen is legit leaving me. Legit leaving me. So happy we just got finished filming right before the rain started. That is crazy. It literally, it literally just started raining right now. As I'm vlogging, bro. Tough scene. Guys, it started um, to rain. We might have had to get in the Uber. I don't know, man. It's looking bad out here. It's looking crazy. I'm sure y'all cannot see the rain physically, but it's raining, bro. Okay. It's raining real bad. People just walking in it. And shout out to Jen, because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even have brought this jacket. 
I wasn't even gonna bring a jacket. So you once know, again, I would never let you leave the house unprepared. Once again, number one player on my team. Yo, we gotta get Jenna MVP award, the Stacks team MVP, because she stayed holding it down. Uh, we might have to catch an Uber or something to get. Some, bro, I don't even know what we about to do. It's gonna be hard to get. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know what we about to do. Yo, we posted up right here. We got a little bit of shade, but uh, there's a dude smoking a nasty cigarette next to me, and it smells so bad. Yeah, man, we gotta get up out of here. But this rain is not stopping. I should have brought an umbrella. That would have been the ultimate, like ultimate clutch up if we had an umbrella. Yeah, next time I'll make sure we get one. Yeah, but at least I got the jacket. Cause if it wasn't for you, my bare arms would be out getting wet moist i don't mind walking too like if you want to walk somewhere grab a bite you don't have a hood at all nah but i gotta wash my hair on sunday no 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 we gotta man you got yourself a soldier nah <laughs> i know i got a soldier but i need her not sick look at this dude right here yo people just giving up it's raining they don't even care it's over new york city is it's over bro. harder too man that's a wrap on New York City. Look at these people running away. Look, look at this guy. He got on shorts. Well, if you can see him, it's a wrap, man. It's crazy out here, bro. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? Yo, it's a rizzy. It's really a wrap. I don't think the rain's supposed to last long, though, from what I saw. What, are we gonna stand there for an hour until it stops? Yo, this is a wrap. Oh, let me put my, yo, I better put my camera away because this rain is starting to look. They umbrella turn inside out, bro. It's getting, it's getting crazy out here. The music stopped, everything shutting down. Those steps done cleared out, bro. Look at the umbrella, bro. It might be a wrap for that joint. That joint gonna flip inside out again. It's over. Y'all will never believe where we ended up. Olive Garden, of all places. Olive Garden, ain't that right? Yeah, my first time coming here. I've never been to Olive Garden. This is my second time. Quick story time. My first time ever coming to Olive Garden is when I had a job at the mall. I was working at Old Navy. I got my first check. I took my entire family to Olive Garden. We ate, I paid for it, and I spent my whole check. I actually probably asked, I actually probably had to ask a few family members for a couple dollars to throw on that thing. Yeah, bro. So anyway, so we had Olive Garden. Um, it looked like it stopped raining out there. We got a nice view of the city still. Well, okay view. It looked like it might have stopped raining. But we got the breadsticks. You all know Olive Garden is known for the breadsticks, and they go crazy. No, we're right up. And one thing I can say for sure, these breadsticks, top of the line, baby. I love these breadsticks. Perfectly seasoned, you know what I'm saying? That garlic sauce, garlic butter, powder, whatever they put on it, delicious. But I order um, um, spaghetti and meatballs. What you order again? Fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. Y'all know, anyway. Okay, I like how it is. Like buttery and garlicky. Yep, buttery and garlicky. Buttery and garlicky. Two words to describe this bread. Yeah, but it's not, I think it's kind of dying down. Um, and when you finish the bread, they bring some more out. They bring more bread on top of bread. You feel me? That's how they do. They treat us like, they treat us like kings in Olive Garden. You feel me? But so far, your first time at Olive Garden, how are you feeling about it? The breadsticks live up to the height. Well, mm -hmm. so far, it's to giving it a W. We gotta see what it's really like once the food get here. Got my food, quick little spaghetti and meatballs. Jen said it's, um, it's drenched. Thank you. Jen said it's drenched in Parmesan cheese. I think that's just how it's supposed to look. You feel me, it's supposed to look. You know what I'm saying, Italiano. You know what I'm saying, a little bit of. And then Jen, damn. I almost bit your own fingers. Yo, she almost bit her own fingers off. Almost, yo, this lady in front of us don't want to pay $13 for her meal. She said, no, give me a manager. I'm not paying $10 for this. I mean, $13, I'm only paying 10. And that bro had to go get his manager over $3. Speaking of $3, Trey, this is a message specifically for you. 
I'm letting you know right now. If I don't get my three dollars in three weeks, and I don't want a dollar per week, I want all three, three hundred pennies, straight up. If I don't get those, there's no it's gonna be drama, straight up. And we gonna start sending shots. Get it together, my boy. Three dollars. It's gonna be a problem. Send us to Trey. Yeah, yo, she really, yo, they really getting the manager over the three dollars. I need to get this lady, cause she'll get my three dollars from Trey off rip. I need to get her. She not playing about them three. She said I'm paying ten dollars. That's it, not thirteen. I need to stop. I need to stop chatting and eat my food. Food looking good. Though. Food looking good though, man. We we out here. Yo, what's good, man? Uh, we at Olive Garden. What's your name? Edwin. My guy Edwin pulled up on me. Said he was a fan of me. So uh, when you start watching. Uh, so I've been watching since like 2015. I've been a huge fan. I've been, I think your brother was Jinx, if I'm not mistaken. No. I, I feel like it was somebody that introduced me into your videos. Yeah. And that's all I, I've been watching since. Shout out to my guy Edwin, man. Real one, real one. Appreciate you, dog. How we doing? Now, Edwin, this one for you. Who is Jinx? He said my name is Jessica, which my name is Jen, but... Who's Jessica right, and Jinx? We're gonna have to talk, Edwin. We're gonna have to talk. Yo, me and Jen, we got a train to catch at 6 or 7 to go back home. We changed our mind about going to the uh, museum. Because it's, it's type late and our train ride is like an hour long. Yeah. If that, maybe like 50 minutes, 45 minutes long. So we heading back. And as we walking back, we stopped and took a professional photo shoot. Ain't that right? Yep, it was fun. And the man tried to charge us $70 for seven photos. Whoo wee! I told brother, listen, you're gonna take what I give you, and that's that. If not, then you can keep them damn photos, and I'm going my ass home. I gave him what I gave him. He gave me the photos, you feel me? Hey, look, that is gonna tell you in life, it's about what you make it, you know what I'm saying? You can you control your own destiny and all of that, but we trying to get to uh, New York Penn Station, back to where Madison Square Garden was at, so we could get on the train, but you ever heard of like traffic with cars? This is traffic with people, bro. There's people everywhere. So uh, Jen right here, she holding onto my arm, and then I'm just being a bully, you know what I'm saying? I got Bully Hall of Fame. We just bursting through everybody and making sure we get to where we got to get to on time. And honestly, I keep feeling like a star because these people keep taking photos of me. Even Edwin. Edwin, you know you was dead wrong. I don't know who Jink, bruh. Okay. And then you, what he call you? Jessica. Jessica. Edwin. Next time I come up here, bruh, New York City, you better get it, you better get it right. Nah, I'm just joking, Edwin, but Trey, not you. I need my three. But yeah, on our way back to the train station, I really wanted to go to the museum, the Illusion Museum, but we'll have to make that a trip next time. Like, we'll have to make that like the main reason why we come out here, like make a trip up that. But uh, yeah, I'll holler at y'all later. We just made it back, we off the train. We got a train right there. Uh, I don't, did I vlog on the train? I don't think I did. Cause Jenny was sleeping, so I didn't want to disturb her. But I did want to talk about something. The last time me and Jen got off this train together and walked up these stairs to my car, what happened? What happened again? <laughs> I'm saying the last time me and you got off that train and walked up these stairs together to my car, what happened? We went to the car. Well, we went to the car and we uh, hung out. Okay, yeah, we went to the car. <laughs> we, gotta go this way. we went to the car and uh, we hung out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's it. Look at the beautiful sunset behind us, though. Beautiful, right? It's nice. Not as beautiful as this one right, <laughs> right there, but. <laughs> It looks all right. Um, right now, what are we about to do? Oh, we about to go to Jen's house. She has some content she wants to get done. 
Yeah, but I gotta relax a little bit first. Oh yeah, when we get there, I'm on Fred's ass. <laughs> I'm on his ass. Cause he's been sending me these Michigan memes. If y'all don't know, I'm a Ohio State fan. Fred been sending me these Michigan memes all damn summer about what Michigan's gonna do this year. And they just got spanked by Texas, which I already knew was gonna happen. But Fred is one of those fans that he's very diehard for his squad. If you got Fred as a fan of you, he gonna ride with you forever. That's just the truth. He also a Pistons fan, so this dude is as loyal as they come. So uh, I already know he gonna have every excuse in the book for Michigan when we get to our house. I just can't wait to hear what he say. What do you think? We know that's facts. What do you think he gonna say though? He's gonna say it's early in the season. <laughs> he gonna blame it on the coach. He gonna say, oh, they were unprepared. By the way, I didn't watch the game, so I really don't know why they lost. Yeah, me neither. Uh, but I'm just trying to guess what Fred would say. They were unprepared, um, too many mistakes, something like that. I don't know. But um, I'm excited to get over there, see what he got to say. Jen says she needs some rest, so I'm going to let her rest before uh, she start working on her content. And then depending on what time she's finished, we might head back to my house tomorrow because we're going to be hosting NFL games tomorrow. You know, my Giants play tomorrow, so we got to be locked in for that. Quick little update. It's, bro, almost 1 in the morning. I got woken up by my sleep. I got to go somewhere to help a friend right quick at 1 in the morning, bro. I was knocked out at Jen house. We was laid up too, bro. I was knocked out, man. Sleep, slump. Had a long day today. Been out all day. I'm just like a kid, bro. Whenever I have a long day, I'm gonna be sleep early. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I gotta go help out a friend because they going through something right now at one in the morning. So uh, yeah, literally walking to my car. They got my car right here. I'm really hoping that this goes by quick. I could get in, get out, and uh, get back to my house. I'm not even going back to the gym, so I was going to my house. So hopefully I could get in, get out real quick, do what I got to do over there, and get back to sleep because um, I'm kind of tired. Let me tell y'all something. This is the last time I'm going to help any friends. I'm not doing that no more, bro. I went all the way to bro house. It was probably like 20 minutes. Mind you, right now it's 1.19 in the morning, bro. It's probably like 20 minutes away from me, which isn't that bad of a drive. But again, I was laid up in bed, sleep, minding my business. They called me with, he called me, they called me, hit me up with their issues. And I'm like, all right, bro, I'm on the way good friend you know what i'm saying w friend w stacks and then i get over there i'm calling nobody answering the phone I'm ringing the doorbell nobody coming to the door all right bro you got it last time i, I ain't doing that no more bro i'm not doing that no more and honestly i should really just stay out of people's business not gonna lie you know what i'm saying but you know try to be a nice guy that's why i say nice guys finish last bro and I'm in last place. I'm the only one outside. I'm the only one uncomfortable. I'm the only one outside the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only one sitting here talking to a camera. <laughs> yeah, bro. That joint pissed me off. Now I'm just looking like an idiot. But instead of going back home, I end up going coming back to Jen's house. So I'm about to go back in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lay up, probably just watch a movie or something until I go back to sleep. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm out. I'm done for the night, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That joint pissed me off. Something crazy pissed me off. <sighs> Need to get better friends. Next day vibes. Y'all know how I do already, bro. If you watch my vlogs, bro, you already know how this usually goes. But look, it's Sunday, which means it's NFL Sunday which means 
my Giants play, or should I say played, or should I say did they play? Because the game just wrapped up. We played the Vikings. Daniel Jones got to go, bro. I, I look, 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 man. He got to go, bro. Look, bro. The, look, man. The beard. He, he grew the beard in. You know what I'm saying? He had everybody think, oh, he got the beard. The man going crazy. Man, through two, through two picks today. Both of them went to the end zone. One went to the other one because it was a pick six. And then the other one, we was in the red zone, threw a pick. <sighs> Listen, bro. Like, these are the type of mistakes you expect to see from a rookie, a second-year player, maybe even a third-year player. But Mans is in year six and still... But I can't remember the last time he threw a touchdown, bro. I can't remember the last time. He only had, what, two last year with six picks because he got hurt? Now he start this season with two picks, no touchdowns. I'm pissed, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I could go all and on and on and on and on and on and on about this all day. But, uh, yeah, bro, it's about that time, bro. Give me Shador, bro. Bring me Shador. Bring me, bring me Carson Beck, bro. Bring me bro from, um, um, from Miami, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bring me somebody, bro, because this this ain't cutting it, dog. You know what I'm saying? I got about, whoa, 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 whoa. how many games in this in, 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 in NFL season this year? 17. I got 16 more games. 16. Yo. <laughs> hey, man, let me go ahead and wrap this vlog up, bro. Um, gave away some copies of NBA 2K25. Look, for the people that's watching, I'll drop uh, a code somewhere randomly. Well, it probably don't. You know what? Um, I'll, I'll drop it right now. Here go the code. It's the Xbox code, PlayStation code right there. It's for, you know what? I'm going to do y'all real good. All, all Star Edition codes right there. The first two people to put those codes in there. You got them. <laughs> you got them. Um, appreciate everybody for uh, watching the vlog today, man. Y'all some real ones for real, bro. Love y'all, man. Um, I, I got to go stress some more about Daniel Jones, bro. I'm going to holler at y'all later, Montana fan. You already know what it is, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, no, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I feel like I'm on my way. See, this is the draft and young in the top pick. Devil be hitting my phone. I answer the call. Got too many options. Play with my family, my kin. You might fuck around and go get your top in. No, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I got to get to the back so I can.